research means different things to different people, but uh, generally speaking, research is the systematic and organized uh, way of finding answers to questions uh, posed. This quest for knowledge and improvement and you know, for benefits to humanity, it never ends. It's, a, it's an iterative process, so I think that's one of the key ingredients of research. I have a strong interest in learning something new in the beginning, from a personal perspective, and at the same time, it's a benefit to the community. I mean, finding out stuff that's new, finding out, finding out new information, things that people don't know before, uh, discovering new things. البحث العلمي بيمثل لأي باحث وأي عالم حياته الكرير بتاعه طريقة تفكيره مستقبله وبالتالي البحث العلم هو كل شيء بالنسبة للباحث. As a resident of the country in which I live, I see the research as something which becomes not only part of my profession but rather part of my everyday life. It is through research that I see my contribution to the society as the whole. The Soviet Union was in the light of 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 the light uh, research is integral for development of any country and establishing an RF was a milestone in this country with the vision of promoting research, regulating research and also mediating between universities and uh, uh, different donors. شركاء الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي عديدون منها الجامعات المعنية في الدولة الجامعات والمؤسسات العلمية والتعليمية والأكاديمية الوزارات الاتحادية المراكز البحثية وكذلك بعض الهيئات التي هي بصدد منح جوائز بحثية وعلمية. Well, I think NRF's presence is very important because it's a national agency which funds national level research, so it has the onerous task of really driving the research mission of the country, coordinate all the universities, bring the universities and industries together. And I think within the short lifespan that it has had, it's done really well. We work with NRF whenever they uh, run a, a conference or a workshop, we participate in that. Uh, we take advice from them on how we allocate our own internal funding in terms of the way we run our own competitions for grants inside the university. Uh, so. We see NRF as being an exemplar of best practice. يلعب البحث العلمي دور مهم ورئيسي في بناء الاقتصاد المعرفي في البلدان من حيث توسيع قاعدة البحث العلمي وزيادة نسبة الاكتشافات والابتكارات التي تعتبر من المؤشرات المهمة في بناء الاقتصاد المعرفي. I think the National Research Foundation has been extremely important to us as a university because we see them as being not only a funding agency but an independent agency which at the moment have helped us in evaluating our, our intramural funding. Uh, although the funds are from us, but we use them as a third party to evaluate and to rank our, our basically research proposals. And that has been done extremely well for the third cycle. That means three years in the past three years. And we have been, we've had a very positive uh, experience with that. One of the great things NRF has done, besides funding our research, uh, I think they have followed up you know, they have stayed engaged in what the faculty has been doing, and I think that has energized the faculty quite a bit. من أهم أهداف الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي دعم البحوث والدراسات البحثية المتخصصة وكذلك العامة دعم براءة الاختراع والابتكار وتعزيز التعاون بين القطاع الصناعي والمراكز البحثية والجامعات والباحثين. برامج الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي هي برامج تنافسية. وتدار بطريقة 
باعتماد أفضل الممارسات العالمية وتعتمد أهم مراحل إدارة البحوث مسابقات البحوث العلمية من خلال برنامج الإدارة الإلكترونية المتكامل من مرحلة الإعلان إلى مرحلة الانتهاء واختيار أفضل البحوث وتمر عملية إدارة المنح البحثية والجوائز في مرحلة التقييم وهي مرحلة مهمة جدا تتم عن طريق تعيين مقيمين نظراء دوليين في نفس المجالات البحث العلمي ومن ثم يتم اختيارهم وفق معايير معينة وكذلك تدار جميع برامج الهيئة الوطنية للبحث العلمي وفق معايير معتمدة دوليا البحث اللي أنا أقوم فيه هو معالجة الصور للحصول على أجزاء من الصورة هذه هذه الأجزاء تكون تساعد الجهاز الحاسوب على التعرف على المكونات الصورة Our research is more like operational research, so we can see the direct impact on our research uh, product on the society. Um, I can list a couple of projects that we are working on uh, presently. Uh, one of them is uh, the observation of oil spills and uh, red tide over the Arabian Gulf in real time. Uh, the other project is the dust, uh, so we are looking at dust on daily basis, real time. We are getting data from European satellites. My research is focusing on genome-wide association study. It's a screening all the chromosomes, the 46 chromosomes, uh, and looking at the genes that are responsible for diabetes type 2 among Arab populations. Is it genetics? Is it lifestyle? Is it the combination of both? My research is um, integrating two very underexplored topics, but very important topics uh, in today's world. This is about the family business and the corporate governance. I focus my research on the questions asked by the patients I see in the genetic clinic. Uh, these uh, patients or families come uh, to the clinic uh, wanting to know what is wrong with their child or with themselves and why it happened to them and how, how they can prevent it. So uh, my research is focused on finding the genes and the mutations causing these diseases in these families. My, my small contribution, my research, is to focus on aspects of depression, uh, which is the, the idea of trying to identify uh, risk factors for depression, identify things that will predict whether someone's more or less likely to get depression, so we can intervene, we can teach them some skills, some coping skills, some stress management skills, that ultimately will prevent them from developing depressive illness in the first place. عادة ما ينشأ عن الرعي الجائر تدهور الكساء الخضري انقراض للعديد من النباتات الهامة وبالتالي هذا يؤثر على المنظومة البيئية الصحراوية بشكل عام ومن هنا جه المشروع بتاعنا كيف يمكن أن نستديم البيئة الصحراوية مع وجود الرعي من هنا فكرنا أن احنا نحسب I have a project that's working on uh, the GAF tree, which is the national tree of the United Arab Emirates. Um, the main tree that you'll see on the roadsides, especially as you go up to uh, Omar Quain and Ras Al Khaimah. In order for a nation to be successful in its diversification of its economy, in transforming its economy towards a knowledge-based economy, there is an issue of critical mass. There is a minimum number of people you need. It's not that just the amount of money that you invest, but also the number of people. So there is a critical mass that is required. حتى نصل إلى نتيجة يعتمد عليها صانع القرار أعتقد سنة واحدة غير كافية. أتمنى إن التمويل يمتد لي all of the research that I've, I've discussed today, my own particular research, all of it has been what we call cross-sectional. So it's snapshot research, which is useful, it's beneficial, but it's not optimum. Really to answer the type of questions that I'm, I'm trying to answer, we need to have a longitudinal prospective research that follows people up over one, two, three, ideally decades. For research, it takes many, many years for the benefit to show. So one has to be patient. It takes a, a lot of patience to uh, get the benefit of the research. When you are building a program, for example, you are monitoring the atmospheric pollution or 
you know, quality of the water bodies here, environmental quality, they need, you need to monitor them over long periods of time. And that requires a lot of funding, a lot of high-level instrumentation, so that's why you need to, the scientists and the engineers and humanists, they need to be able to depend on the source of steady source of funds over long periods of time. The funding, although the country is blessed with the resources, uh, the, f the right funding for the research uh, should come from different agencies. Of course, government can support, but uh, the private partners also have responsibility to support research. Now, this innovation system and the role played by research in universities is critical to building a knowledge-based economy, but it's not a simple linear relationship. You can't simply say, ah, oh, let's put some money into research in the university and then measure directly the impact somewhere else in the economy. It doesn't work like that. And so this is the second big challenge, if you like, in terms of mentality. It's very hard when you're coming to advocate for research to be able to demonstrate how when you invest in research over here that there'll be a benefit over there. Because sometimes it won't be there, it'll be somewhere else. But unless you did that research, unless you invested in that research activity, you would achieve nothing. The research fundamentally has different levels of products. And that's why my belief is that funding research with an expectation is important. But I believe researchers of today, minimally, they are expecting an outcome from any research they do. The spin-offs, the, uh, as I said, answering manuscript, pu publishing a manuscript, you know, the simplest thing of publishing a manuscript is it puts the country, the university and the country on the map, on the map of the scientific world. Because as we have the business world, We've got also the scientific world. And the scientific world will be aware of people and their activities that are in this beautiful nation of ours, that are active in contributing to humanity as a whole. The uh, people and the people are divided in a wide range of different levels. One of these levels is the level of the research and 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 the level of the research. It's the analogy of those who put the seed inside to grow the tree and they may not have the time to eat the fruit. So someone else uh, comes and eats the fruit. If we don't look at the research that way, we may be shortcoming in our vision. There is no research which can be done without a result. But there is research which cannot be done without funding.